Check out this fake Diamondback frame. It fooled you, didn't it? it has Diamondback decals. It even says Chromoly. It has a loop tail rear end. And there's the Diamondback head tube gusset with a diamond cut into it. But this bike isn't a Diamondback. Look at these welds. Those are terrible. What about this seat post clamp? Diamondback would never have put that on one of their bikes. And I don't know what the story is with this bottom bracket gusset, but I don't think that came out of the Diamondback factory. So what is this bike? It's gotta be a Diamondback, right? With a gusset like that? Diamonds cut in it? Look how crude those diamonds are. Look how crude the welds and the grinds are. And the gusset is made of two different thicknesses of steel. So some kid probably wanted a diamond back and he couldn't afford one. So his dad or his mom got out the welder and the steel. They bought a diamond back decal kit for 10 bucks, a can of spray paint. And now the kid had a bike that everybody would think was a diamond back. I wonder if this kid got a hard time from his friends, the ones who knew that it wasn't real, or if everybody believed it, or if nobody cared. I'll never know the story, but this is definitely a cool piece of BMX history.